Hi friends, my name is Borro Dante and welcome to the mouse challenge. Now, it sounds like what it is. We're gonna try to paint something with a mouse and figure out the best ways to do that. I'm gonna be using my Razer Mamba mouse. Let's go into the settings of the mouse first and figure something out. So first things first, let's set up the sensitivity super low. 400 is really low. I have to make like two strokes with my hand to cover the width of the screen. That's how low it is. And I have a lot of space on my table, which is also pretty important. So there's that, a super low sensitivity brush. Fun fact, I actually always use my mouse with such a low sensitivity. I just always appreciated the advantages of it being very easy to control with small details of whatever you do. And I kind of got used to it with years. And also video games. I destroy everybody in Unreal Tournament. So yesterday I was trying out the whole technique of working with the mouse and this kind of Pinocchio character happened. So I think it's gonna work, but in this episode let's actually try to copy a photo to actually see how we can handle the controls. And what photo can be better than the photo of a laughing Tom Cruise? Okay. I'm not feeling terrified at all. So, let's start with defining the background. So, it's pretty important to know all the hotkeys for changing the size of the brush and changing both types of transparency of the stroke. Because you won't be able to control that using your mouse. So, as you can see with low sensitivity, it's really easy to control your stroke's shape, at least. Okay, this is a good base. So yeah, the hotkey. 1 to 0 on your keyboard is gonna be either opacity or flow, depending on what kind of brush you use. And shift 1 to 0 will be the other one of opacity or flow. So it's pretty simple. And definitely set up hotkeys for changing the brush size somewhere different from these two buttons that are in a completely different part of the keyboard from where you usually hold your hand. I use A and Z. I talked about that before. So yeah, I easily changed the opacity. Right now I pressed Shift 5 and now I have 50% opacity. And I can color pick semi-transparent, like semi-tones of any color I work with. That's pretty comfortable. So right now, let's just fill in all the parts of the image with relatively familiar colors here. Nothing has to match perfectly, neither shapes nor colors, but try to match as much as you can. And then we'll go further from what we will get. I mostly hold the mouse with the thumb and a pinky to quickly control it, almost like a pen. Not sure if it's a good strategy to work with, like, from the shoulder, but for that you definitely should sit really high on your chair. High enough that you wouldn't touch the table with your elbow. And that requires usually a special kind of chair or a stack of books. What a glorious chin. And another one. And another one. <laughs> I don't know how much of a caricature we're gonna do. <laughs> but if it's gonna happen, I'm not gonna resist that. This looks like a whole other level of meme. <laughs> Tom Cruise, duh. Something like that, I don't know. But it's somewhere around those notes. I almost don't want to add the teeth. It feels like he is so perfect this way. I gotta say, something actually pretty cool about working with a mouse. 
but you should really set it up in the way that it would be easy to control, like, the sensitivity-wise. In this case, it kind of becomes a lot more, like, a lot less precise, sort of, but also it feels like, like, I'm in peace with this, you know, because it's a mouse, it lays on the table and, I don't know, it just kind of turns attention away from controlling the controller, the tool. And I think a lot more about where I put the spots. So, in a way, it's actually a good way to start working in the whole no silhouette technique. Because you just put spots and you can't really follow silhouettes all that much because mouse is not all that precise. <laughs> I love how his forehead is so big in this, on my picture. Derp Cruise. There we go, Derp Cruise. I like it. He's so red when he's laughing. Some demonic forces awaken within him. I'm just constantly laughing as I'm doing this. <laughs> So yeah, I'm changing the settings of all the transparencies so frequently, it's actually a pretty good idea to really, like, pay attention to that. And for that you kinda have to feel what you want from your brush. That might require certain experience. <laughs> this is either gonna be complete crap or just an amazing epicness. It can be just, uh, whatever. Like, some of the shapes, I don't really... <laughs> like, I just keep them after Mouse did them. <laughs> because I kinda love them. So yeah, the control of the stroke is pretty high. Like, I'm easily doing this kind of curve. Legit. I might permanently switch to this. Oh my god, this is so... like, such a cool process, I don't know. <laughs> His hair is going away somewhere, I don't know. Well, let's move this eyeball a bit closer to the nose. <laughs> or should we actually move the nose closer, because Tom Cruise's nose is a very special nose. A very definitive nose. There's so much character in this nose. You can just show his nose and people will know who this is. I'm pretty sure. Now this amazing wrinkle over the nose. That's what makes his laughter really like... Ah, like he is turning into a demon. Need to show some of those gums. <laughs> Oh boy, this is so good. This is such a good reference library for my head. <laughs> I should paint myself laughing, I think that would be also very valuable. I am so inspired by this. I don't know, it's so cool. Got pretty serious now. I feel the power of Cruise inside me. That translucency though. He has some terrifying fangs. Yep, that looks about right. <laughs> okay. Couple of extra strokes on the sweater, and we're done here. This is epic. Almost forgot the audio device. Okay, overwhelming big amount of details on the sweater. Blurring your eyes really helps in this situation. I love how I made the forehead two times bigger. I guess it's Boro version of Tom Cruise. There we go. Welcome to the family, son. 
Okay, I think we're more than awesome. <laughs> oh boy, this was really cool. <laughs> I love doing this. <laughs> so yeah, here we go. I think it's safe to say that painting with a mouse is more than possible. So, if you're watching this and you think I wish I would have a tablet, well, you don't have to wish that anymore, I think. I can even say that it's a good idea for everybody, even the artists that have a tablet, to try working with a mouse sometime, because it really makes you not think about the design of the stroke and think about just the placement of color spots, which is a really good exercise for painting, for rendering the color. So, give it a try! So, tell me what you think about this. And I thank you for watching. If you did, I guess you did. If you're here, leave a like and subscribe. Tell a friend. Laugh. Laugh as hard as you can. Do whatever you want. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. No oh god, what was that? <laughs> Possessed painting. It's just, all you have to do is just zoom in with rotation.